and welcome to the Orbiting Brick. This week's video, I will be landing a uh, small base on the mud. As you can see here, we've launched. And this vehicle, so for a first stage, it has uh, only uh, solid rocket boosters. And then the uh, central uh, core ignites. Also, th this rocket is really cheap. It's only about, um, like, with the mun base, um, it's, it's only about, like, 90,000 muns. So, and also, the uh, sub rocket boosters are recoverable if they don't crash into each other. If there's a bit of damage. And the core is recoverable. Though, um, I made some mistakes with the uh, launch profile, which um, you'll see later. So, yeah. The boosters are descending by parachute right now, and they're about to splash down any second now. And there. And the other booster splashed down. And so, using the mod um, FMRS, which I did a review of, I can uh, then go back to flight and um, recover. Uh, and also recover the boosters and get the funds back. So now the core is burning, and we're continuing on into space. I'm messing around with my uh, trajectories uh, mod. Well, it's not my mod. Actually, I don't remember who it's made by. I probably should do a review about it. Oh, well, you can just go onto your forums and search for it. And so now we've detached the uh, core, and it's going to try to re-enter and land, but, um... Well, like, we're going faster than normal, and so, um... It, it, it's gonna get very hot, and, um... So hot that the engine explodes. Which kind of, like, the engine is the... the the engine is the most like, expensive part of this, so it kind of defeats the whole purpose of recovering the stage. So we're descending now. And landed. So we can go back to second stage, which is now uh, entering into orbit. Well, it will soon be entering into orbit. We can do our orbital insertion. Boy, oh, just crashed him. So, actually, I'll talk about the Mun base a bit later, but actually, I can talk about it now. Well, I should focus on what's going on right now, because if, if I talk about the Mun base now, I won't have anything to talk about when we actually- when the, when the Mun base is the main focus. So I'm trying to get my Mun encounter. First one, um, the maneuver was weird and showed me something that happened in four days. So yeah, I plotted another maneuver. So, time warp. And... And burn. I said burn in a few seconds now. Yeah, okay. And um, I slightly um, overburned. I thought I should uh, orientate retrograde, but nope. I need to stay pointing prograde. So I guess maybe I underburned. I can plot uh, a orbital and well, a orbital insertion burn. Yeah, still an orbital insertion burn. And we can time warp and um, my warp is slightly changed. My time warp and I didn't notice, and so we're approaching the mun. We're about to uh, start our orbital insertion. But I realize we are we are on a collision course, so. You know, quickly uh, burn away from the mon, and just not the type of maneuver you want to be doing. 
Yeah, that's all fixed. We can insert into orbit. Also, in like intestine. I didn't have this much Delta V left over. So I have no idea why the rocket performed better now. Yeah, we can uh, time warp to our um, to our uh, deorbit burn. All right, and so we're going to use that uh, upper stage uh, for our part of the braking, and then use the uh, landing engines for the uh, final landing. I guess I can talk about the base right now. It's a very interesting design using a uh, Soviet-style uh, command mod. It's the uh, three crew uh, boss boss hod. <laughs> and what's uh, and um, I had to do some fancy part attachment for those uh, Mark One crew uh, crew uh, cabins. Also, we got some seismic data because I have some se seismometers elsewhere on the mun. <laughs> well. And so the base also has solar panels and docking ports, and that um, that the Soviet command pod serves as a airlock. And so we've landed. And I throttle up slightly and detach the engine pods, which go spinning off. Also, if you want to make this cheaper, you could uh, use the uh, you could use the uh, cheaper um, Soviet uh, command mod. Com Command pods. So we've so yeah, it's landed. We can uh, do we can plant the flag. Do a bit of science. Also, these two crew have um, no way of returning, which might which might be a problem. Also, now trying to uh, find Kerbin, but we're on the uh, far side of the moon. Well, yeah, this video is about over, so I want to thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and uh, yeah, goodbye!